Uh, good evening. Dave Furman here. I'm going to do a daily sketch. Uh, I haven't done one of these, this style, in a while. I'm going to draw some type of a Mexican uh, pottery uh, of a dog pot, some kind of a more ancient type of pottery that could be even Chinese looking. And that's what I find interesting about the various cultures is how they were all linked in the past but nobody really seems to, you know, want to admit that. So, here we go. I'm going to draw a sketch, maybe 20 minutes, I don't know. Let's see how long it takes. And we'll get going. This is just getting my wrist into the groove. Uh, there's the top. Okay. Now, this connects to the vase, sort of like so. And, you know, this is uh, in uh, Clip Paint Studio, by the way. So I'm working in Mechanical Pencil, just so you know. You click a Pencil over here. And if you've ever used some, this before, like let's say you hit Pastel. Pastel will change the icon here. So next time you look for Pencil, remember, you got to open up your Pastel and go back to Pencil. And you're going to find that true with a lot of programs that they just kind of go back to where you last were. So, okay. And then this kind of curves in like this, you know. So we'll have the opening maybe down here. Just represent it as it uh, slenderly goes down. I'll do that with shading. And then uh, let's, let's join the attachment here. So this is where it's going to attach. And again, I'm just sketching on a uh, Intuos uh, Pro medium slate, you know, those little black slates, and looking at the, up at the monitor. And you can see me doing that, and that's what I want you to see. Kind of doing that. That's how I kind of work it out. Thinking about the uh, shapes and how to uh, kind of perfect that and join them properly and erase whatever we don't want, which we do in a minute. So, okay. All right, now, the body is kind of a egg-shaped almost so let's it's kind of kind of get that feel on slates it's kind of uh, strange sometimes when you're drawing on an angle and then you're trying to transfer to a screen now eventually I'm going to get the uh, something I draw directly on but uh, right now on the budget it's not there it will be after the first of the year but I may not even do it I may not even do it so uh, right now I'm just dabbling with this stuff. And I kind of like to throw the lines in just for the heck of it. Okay. Now the head, the head is right here. So let's uh, let's join the head. So we're going to, uh, it has like, you know, the top of the skull, a ball. And then it has its face. And... Uh, so that kind of comes out like so, just kind of like that. Mouth comes back like that. And this is just a sketch for a daily sketch. So I, I, I'm not being super uh, concerned with everything reaching any state of perfection. But just showing you how I would develop a sketch as always. There's some kind of something happening here at the chin. And then the neck kind of comes out like that, kind of shoots forward. Uh, you have this tongue hanging over. That's what it is. Out here. The uh, eye is in here. Like so. Then there's a, this could be a little more bulbous right there. Let's raise that up. And let's come down like this and like that. I may walk away for a second at some point if the buzzer goes off because I got some uh, chunks of pineapple in the broiler. <laughs> uh, just make me up some broiled uh, pineapple. Okay. So pineapple is really good for your, your mood and it's a uh, magic food. If you can't eat it, I'm sorry. But... Uh, it's one of the things I eat. Okay. 
Maybe that's more than you need to know, eh? <laughs> the man eats pineapple. Woohoo. Okay, so we got these couple of ears. The head kind of comes in front like that. And then it's it's actually thicker behind the ear, like this, like the neck of a dog. And then it fits into a uh, design curve, like so, which shows you an extreme advanced civilization as far as I'm concerned. When you make the sine curve, you're not just the average civilization. And I don't care what archaeologists think. If they knew what they were looking at, they'd be artists. Eye-hand coordination is one of the most important things on the planet, especially when it comes to designing art. And when they, when they look at things, they have a very uh, limited point of view, in my opinion, after watching them talk for years on lectures on TV and their they just, uh, you know, each one repeats what the last one says until somebody comes up and goes, well, hey, you know, I tried it this way. And guess what? It's dated uh, ten times as long as you said. And I also found a piece of this in China, or I found a piece in Peru, or I found a piece in uh, Bolivia. And there seems to be some correlation between these civilizations. So that's always fun stuff. So there's the basic head. The handle is the tail. But it's just uh, like a teapot handle on the back, kind of a torus shape, like a donut, you know? The torus is the donut shape. Pretty much how everything in the cosmos is. Uh, based on the phi ratio of 1.618 and then the torus uh, shape. You'll see those things over and over again in creation. You know, and I dabble with bringing those things up every now and then to us, but uh, not important at the moment. Okay, and uh, then we we'll put some legs on here and jockey this all around, you know. So in the front, there's like a thicker leg. So you have like this top portion that's attached to the vase, and then kind of like a cylinder. And it's good to break your, uh, I'm sure you know all this if you guys went to art school, but for those of you who don't, it's good to break them up into geometric uh, forms and think about that. So this is a cylinder, kind of, because, you know, the person that made this art, they took clay and they took about, you know, an inch in diameter piece and rolled it and then they pressed it into the pot. So this is round. You know, if you could see inside, this would be round like that. And, you know, there, of course, would be another one uh, out here further up, on a, the way it hits the surface of the table. So there'd be something up here, you know. I do love gesture drawing. Gesture drawings in themselves are true art, you know. Uh, different world today. This gives you some insight to the old world. <laughs> and if you follow my ArtStation page, you've seen me do a lot of stuff. Okay, so now I'm sitting down. I'm going to angle this just a little bit better, so hopefully my face will show up uh, in the lower corner just so you can see that I'm actually doing the work. Every now and then I reveal me. <laughs> and these, uh, it's going into fall now. And we're approaching the winter equinox. And uh, after that day, the days start getting longer. So, something to keep in mind, too. But, you know, every artist, they start with cylinders, squares, balls, uh, lathes, however they're doing something. And a true artist connects things that they know are going to break off of there. Or they make them very thick and very substantial. And, uh, you know, here, the back leg kind of is like, I'm getting there, getting there, like so. And then it comes forward more, but they have a, a piece attaching 
right here so it won't snap off because the king probably said if this breaks somebody's got to answer to me and I'm not going to be laughing <laughs> feudal lords man very tough times to live when your king or your ruler wanted something to get done boy everybody got on board or they got sacrificed or murdered or whatever so there's like a rough and uh, you know then I would get my eraser just over here yeah it's too big I erase the whole thing and modify some stuff by erasing uh, because this is a transparent background let me uh, edit undo that I'll tell you why we're just gonna use white and draw right over it no big deal uh, we're still an eraser okay should be in pencil and white pencil okay now darker pencil that's going to cover see how that does it just covers it right up there's no blending it's just uh, erase and it's gone you know that kind of stuff and we we'll keep this this is like the donut hole so they knew things about the shape of galaxies, cosmos, universes. Uh, they have reasons why these things are shaped this way. Uh, toroid things are very advanced thinking. Trust me on that. I'm telling you as an artist that the human does not think that way. It, it wasn't until 12, like a, a thousand, maybe 1100 AD till Europeans understood how to draw in three dimensions even. So the other cultures of the world were very advanced compared to the Europeans which you know marched out with their gunpowder and then just blasted away everybody and plundered. So when it comes to history exactly why people do things to each other um, you have to keep it in the context of the time. You know, everybody was afraid. Everybody was uh, uncertain of, you know, there was no electricity, there was no lights. <laughs> Just fire, you know, for the day, the nighttime. You're in a jungle somewhere. It's like, holy cow, man. I just can't imagine what it was like. Just had to be pandemonium to the max. And then after they, you know, destroyed a culture, they brought whatever they called the European culture to them, which is. You know, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Less than nothing. When it comes to compassion and humanity, they got zip. Okay. But again, it was the context of the time, so there was a great fear. And magic was something people were afraid of, and sorcery, and, uh, you know, nobody understood stuff. The people in the jungle are manically depressed. The people in Europe are wacky. It's something when you don't have electricity, you don't have indoor plumbing, people forget about all that stuff. It made people think in different ways. You live in a luxurious time, and so. Okay. Here's my meanderings and babblings, of course. I just keep it interesting so that you're not just watching a guy putz around. All right, but there would be like your layer to start on. So now you can put a second layer. This way your sketch never gets messed up. So let's just throw some quick stuff in here. Um, it's kind of an army green and tan. So uh, let's see. Let's see here. Army green and tan. Am I recording? I don't even know if I'm recording, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, good. That was on the other screen. Let me go back to my reference. There we go. All right. So let me find some kind of what I would call an army green in this color wheel. 
So an army green is a green with like a brown black in it. And you may not find it on these color wheels. So what you do is you start somewhere. And you're looking down here. And let's see. Yeah, and that's the color. That's pretty good, the color. Okay. So let's edit, undo that. <coughs> Excuse me. And go to airbrush. My favorite tool of all tools. And I'm going to just brush some uh, color throughout. Not too heavy at the moment. I still want to see my image below because I'm going to work something else into that. But this is hand painting. I just want you to see what we do. And again, you can erase all that stuff. I'm not going to erase it right now. Kind of makes the video cool. Maybe not. Let's erase some for you guys. I know you're going to get all freaky on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's how you do it. You just hit your eraser. Because they're on separate layers. If you're on a, not on a separate layer, you're going to have a problem. It's going to erase your other stuff. So be sure and keep your layers separate. See, because watch, when I go over to brown, nothing's happening. It's on another layer. See, that's the beauty of layers. Which I seem to stress in all my videos. Just, I hope. All right. And let me just run over to the stove real quick. I heard the pineapple telling me it's done. So I broiled some pineapple, and we're only 15 minutes into this. I'll do like another 15, then I'm going to eat. I'm going to have my snack. But let's, uh, let's go back to the uh, airbrush and rough in some more of this army green in certain areas. And then we're going to have the... Uh, let's get some in here. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> various things. This is actually, we could have this in front. Okay. And, uh, all right. And then, uh, like a brown, kind of a <sighs> terracotta. So there we go. And we're just kind of doing what it kind of looks like this, and then I'll just, you know, there's a green glaze that's kind of worn off over time from the terracotta. And uh, let me show you how we fake all this in a minute. You know, these aren't 10 hour videos either. They're just, get you started. Get you started. Get to watch me start. Um, you know, how I would do something. And, you know, if I needed a table or something for reference, let's say we got a gray here. Let's, let's do another layer. And, uh, gonna break the heart. You know, the, the line between the, uh, all right, what's going on here? Cursor. Uh, oh, hey, get back. What are you doing, cursor? All right. So like that, let's just do a light dusting of the table. And now we're going to put some shadows in there just to give it a 3D look to come off the paper. So first we're going to go under here and dial that in a little bit and beef it up a little bit. So uh, I still like to be in the greens for that. So reflective. Uh, so something like that. It might even be harsh under here. And then uh, a little less harsh, but over here. Remember, the center of your circle is where the pigment dispenses from. 
and uh, let's see, let's just follow here, and then maybe denser here, and I cover that with paint, you know, denser here a little bit, then some weird shape of the head and stuff, and the body, you know, casting down. Yeah, and disconnect here to give you some sense of the underneath. And then darken up the background is a good way to create some nice contrast. <laughs> Pardon me. So we'll do that. And you see it starts to take on a 3D appearance. And uh, of course I would, you know, take this to many degrees of uh, detail. But right now we're just doing a... We can even have like a cool green light cast in here. So when you see reflective light, you kind of think that it's bouncing off the object. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is pretty cool too. All right, now let's work up a little bit of our object. And I'm going to do it really quick because I don't want this video to run too long. So what I'm going to do is add some highlights. To the terracotta. So you get kind of the uh, shape of the torus shape. This is like, say, a very slender donut with a big hole, right? So that's the kind of shape you got going there. And take off that last little jabongi. There we go. And then uh, just a slim little light right there, maybe. And uh, where it joins, you know, I might have some light there. We're doing this real quick. And then the pattern in here would be white and then you would build it up. So let's draw a pattern on here first as grooves. Uh, I'd work up the face at another time. It's time consuming for a short video. And so this and I'm gonna make this a grabbing some kind of mystic thing I'm doing to it. And then on this particular one, there's a very strange feather. So uh, it comes through like that. It has a sphere here. It has a, uh, some lines in there. It's got a piece over here. And uh, that's on the top of the feather. The bottom of the feather it's kind of displayed as like so, and some piece like that, and then you get more of these designs like this. And this is just a very basic sketch, but I'm showing you how to get started the way I would start it. Okay. The last one's a little bit too long, so let's see if we go to erase. Uh, can we take that out? We can. See that? And then you can shape them, of course. Uh, you know, if you didn't want that in there, or you wanted this to be different. This is why if you want to be on all these layers. Okay, so I'm showing you how to get some contrast in there just by erasing back to what the previous, what's underneath there. Yeah, okay. It's kind of cool. All right. Let's do something with the head already. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> we'll do a little bit of the head, and then we'll call it a wrap. I know it's not very fancy, and uh, you want fancy, but this is the beginnings. The beginnings are cool. And I might do a second part to this, you know. 
But right now I'm smelling that pineapple and I'm thinking I want some of my pineapple. So. And let's get some black. And see these, you know, if this was Cezanne or somebody, or, or not Cezanne, but maybe like Paul Clay, it could be a finished piece of art. Ah, uh, yes, those little guys kind of crack me up sometimes. Okay. But they had their own philosophy of sacred geometry, too. If you really study them, they did. Uh, a lot of engineering stuff. Clay was really heavy into uh, gravity and weights. So, that's K-L-E-E. -E. Uh, very important artist. Part of the Bajas School of Design, you guys. And we get, you know, this is the beginning of the articulation of things like this. So you can see what's cooking. And then there's some kind of like facial tattoos almost. Where it comes around like a Mori, like that, you know. And uh, a couple lines here, a couple here. So it could be facial tattoos. It could be some type of a, like a harness they put on the dog to walk the dog around. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to see more in the where they found it. But that would be my guess. Two potential ideas. All right. And then we're going to just add a little dark down here, and I'm going to call it a wrap just so you can see. we got to get into where... There is a hole in this pot so that you can pour a liquid out from the neck. Right? Right. So let's do that. It kind of goes like this and then like that. And, uh, you know, this is an opening right there. And then each of these, if they have highlights, you're going to follow them around with a white. Like next to the black, don't uh, erase your black, kind of blend it in. Um, you know, this will give you your raised surface. You have a black next to a white or a tone of the actual object. We'll do some of that just so you get a little lift. And then, uh, like under here, if this was darker, say, hmm like that if I wanted to you know show the different tone this was uh, coming into the design and uh, it's like a cinnamon which I think they really dug that color I mean I dig it so cinnamon let me in all right so you can see this is Daz starting a little piece and here we go. Ciao, guys. Let me uh, stop this video on the other monitor. Woohoo! Adios.